Hello, my name's Tim Cooper and today I'm going to show you how to create a quilt block such as this where you have a design in the middle and outside it filling the rest of the uh, block you have a stipple stitch. Now this isn't immediately obvious or at least it wasn't to me how to to do this particularly when you want to um, have the shape of the design that you've chosen, the embroidery design, um, reflected uh, within the uh, stipple stitch. So let's make a start. Select uh, a new document. Uh, in this particular case I'm using the effectively the 8x8 hoop, uh, the quilt hoop, or that's 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. So to start with we need to place a um, square to fill that block. So go up and choose the, the rectangle. Um, make sure that the sew line is set to no, not sewn and you select a fill stitch. Drag out a, um, a simple square and eventually it will fill. Now bear in mind that I'm currently running uh, this software on Parallels um, on, a, on an iMac so there may be some delay um, as, as, it, as the software gets to fill things. That's because I'm also running the recording software and so on. So just bear that in mind. Okay so we've now created uh, our initial block and it's filled with whatever colour we have to have chosen. I think it uh, mine's picked up my, from my isocord threads the, the particular colour that I used previously. So the next thing we need to do is to import the design we want to, to place uh, within our block. So click on the home tab and import patterns and in my case I'll, I'm going to use something from the Brother Design Library. So it can be anything you like but again just for the purposes of the dis this demonstration let's choose my favourite little giraffe, click on import and that will bring in to uh, the block uh, so the design we've chosen. Tab. Now Down it's a little bottom, small as it comes size, in, so we need to resize. And that. let's make him three inches. So enter the number three in the first one. As long as we have maintain aspect ratio uh, selected, it will work out the, the number that needs to be in the second box and click OK. And there we go, it's uh, resized. Uh, just to make sure, let's make sure it's in the set, still in the centre of the block, in the middle. So again, click on the arrange and click on layout and then move to centre. Make sure that you have this, uh, the new design uh, still selected and then go up to the applique wizard. If I put this back to default um, that you'll probably recognize that. So what we want to do actually is essentially cut out a hole in our background. So we don't need all of the the uh, applique features we're just using this to to create our desired effect. So I'm going to select no for the applique material, no for the tack down and then just leave everything else as is and press OK. So as you can see now it's actually drawn um, satin stitch around and so on. So it's, it's actually created two new layers in effect. So select the satin stitch which is the last one that it's created in this case number six make sure that's selected and then we're going to delete that because we don't need it. Okay so then what we do is click on the background and hold down the control key and click on the running stitch and you should see those um, 
connected. Make sure they're selected. And up here you'll see that the Modify Overlap button is now available for us to use. Previously it was greyed out before we'd selected it. So click on Set Hole Sewing. So what that's done, as you'll see, it's punched out a hole in the background in the shape of the embroidery that, uh, design that we've uh, placed previously. So if we make sure we click off that, select the running stitch and make sure that it's not shown. So that won't stitch out. And the reason we can see that here with the dotted line around is because I have the hide objects not stitched selected so I can um, turn that off with that option and it doesn't show in our in our sewing order so what we now need to do we've now created the, sh the shape if you like for, and the hole for our design to sit in what we now need to do is to change the background from fill stitch to a stipple stitch so select the background and go up and change it from fill stitch to stippling stitch and voila there we have our design surrounded by a stippling stitch in the shape if you like uh, of the actual object that we placed originally and finally let's run the stitch simulation